Installing and using the Canon Hack Development Kit is easy if you use a 4GB or smaller SD card. Look for other instructions if you want to use a larger card. We're going to use a free program called Card Tricks to prepare a 4GB SD card so that the firmware of a Canon PowerShot is enhanced every time it is powered up with that card in it. Card Tricks is easy to find online and it takes just a minute to download. Here's one place to get it. I already have it installed so I'm just going to run it. We're going to click these four buttons on the Card Tricks interface and then we'll be done. Before we start with the buttons, Card Tricks wants us to select the card from among all the other devices connected to your computer. Make your selection carefully because you're going to destroy any data on the device you choose. Now we click the first button, Format as FAT. Card Tricks reminds you that this is serious and tells you about cluster size. The formatting takes about four or five minutes, and then it's time to click the next button, Make Bootable. This just copies one file to the boot sector of the card, and it takes just a second. Now for the third button, Download CHDK. To do this, you have to know the model and firmware version of your camera. Card Tricks opens the page with the latest versions of CHDK for all the power shots that have one. The left column is the camera model, in the middle is the full version of CHDK, and on the right is the stripped down version. We'll select the full version of CHDK for the PowerShot A495 with the firmware version 100F, which all the plots Kickstarter IR kit cameras apparently have. And then return to Card Tricks and click the last button, CHDK to Card. This takes you to the download directory where you can select the zip file you just downloaded. No need to extract it, just click Open and Card Tricks will extract it right to the SD card, which takes about 20 seconds. And then you're done. You can close Card Tricks, and if you want, you can look at what's on the SD card. There's some files on the root directory and one directory with several subdirectories. One you might want to know about is the scripts subdirectory. If you ever have a script you want to run on the camera, copy it to this directory. There are two final things you should do before you use the card. First, lock the card with a slider. CHDK only runs automatically when a locked card with a bootable version of CHDK is in the camera when it is powered up. Second, label the card so you know it's your CHDK card for that particular camera. The cards are hard to write on, so a sticky label helps. Careful labeling will be more important to some than to others. Any card will work normally in any camera if the slider is in the unlocked position, but if you want to use CHDK, the card must be locked and used in the camera it was prepared for. When you start the camera, press and hold the power button until the lens starts to extend. A short press will not work. If you see the CHDK splash screen on startup, you're good to go.